Hey guys, Roman here with Mirror Safety. Today we're here to talk about the NBC 77 SOF filter. It is our flagship filter, and we're gonna go into a lot of detail in this video, so stick around. So the NBC 77 SOF is once again our flagship filter, and it's special because it covers three separate threats. Um, it works on toxic industrial chemicals, it works on CBRN threats as well, which stands for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. Uh, and it also has a DIN rated reactor, which filters out radioactive methyl iodide gas, which is typically released during nuclear reactor meltdowns and other nuclear emergencies. So the NBC 77 SOF is a special combined filter, which combines a P3 layer along with activated carbon, which is impregnated with metal halides, and that structure absorbs the contaminants. Um, the filter now comes in three different colorways. Uh, we have the standard gray and black, which we've had for many years, but now we also have the sandstone color along with the ranger green color, so you can more closely uh, match your kit. So as far as the protection level, uh, you'll be able to see the rating over here where the letter stands for the type of contaminant and the number next to it stands for the filtration class. Uh, one would be 1,000 parts per million and two would be 5,000 parts per million. So this specific filter is rated for A2B2, E2, K2, HG, P3, DR, SX, DIN reactor. So to break that down to you, uh, A is organic gases and vapors, B is inorganic gases and vapors, E is acid gases and vapors, K is ammonia and amines, uh, HG is mercury vapors, SX is for specific CBRN threats that we tested it for, uh, P3 is particulates and a P3 rating is essentially a P100 filter. Uh, D is dust, R is reusable, and DIN reactor, as we mentioned before, is for radioactive methyl iodide. Now, if you are a preparedness-minded individual, this is a great product because it has a 20-year shelf life, so you can store it away in a cool, dry place for an extended period of time and not have to worry about being expired uh, because, once again, 20-year shelf life lasts you pretty much a lifetime. Uh, if you work for an agency that's not as active with toxic industrial chemicals and CBRN threats, once again, um, you know, there's a certain amount of budget that's allocated towards equipment, and instead of having to repurchase filters every five to seven years, this has a 20-year shelf life, um, so you can reallocate those funds for other pieces of gear. So now jumping into some frequently asked questions, uh, a lot of our customers ask, how long does a filter last? And the answer to that is, it depends. Uh, so it depends on the type of contaminant you're looking to filter, the concentration of that contaminant, your breathing rate along with atmospheric conditions. Um, there is a formula that if you have all of those variables, you can figure out the time, but that is highly impractical for most users. So what we typically recommend is uh, two filters per person per day and you'll know it's time to swap out the filter when breathing becomes labored or you begin to smell something inside of the mask. So another frequently asked question that we get is, is the filter reusable? Because it does have an R rating and there's a bit of confusion of what reusable really means. So reusable in the context of these filters is really implied towards the particulate layer of the filter. You can reuse it to filter out particulates over and over again. Um, however, it is recommended that if you do come in contact with uh, any kind of radioactive particulates that you do swap the filter often because it can become a source of radiation on the side of your face. So as soon as it is safe to swap the filter, you should do so. So another frequently asked question that we get is, can I use the NBC 77 SOF to escape and evade a fire situation? So that also depends. Uh, so what happens when things burn is that uh, number one, particulates are released. Smoke is a particulate. Uh, number two, as things burn, toxic industrial chemicals are released. So this filter does have comprehensive protection from toxic industrial chemicals. Uh, but another thing that can happen when things burn 
is carbon monoxide is released, um, at which point uh, you would need oxygen or a way to convert that carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, allowing you to breathe it out. Uh, we do have two products uh, that do that, the VK700 and the VK530. However, that is the limitation of the NBC77 SOF. It does not work for carbon monoxide, uh, which would be a threat in a structure fire because low oxygen levels. Uh, not as much of a threat if you're escaping and evading a wildfire threat because you're outside and there's enough oxygen to feed the fire. All right, guys, another frequently asked question. Um, I'd like to have a training filter. Can you guys please make a training filter? Uh, so the reason that we don't have a training filter is because the cost to manufacture a training filter would be very similar to the cost of manufacturing a real filter, right? We have to still create the plastic mold. Um, we have to fill it with some sort of weight. We should put a particulate layer on it as well. Um, so considering all that would go into creating a training filter, um, it's, it's, you might as well just find a, uh, dedicate a toxic industrial chemical filter that's low cost, you know, 30, $40, and use that as a dedicated training filter. Just make sure you write training on the side of it. Uh, so that way, if an emergency actually happens, you don't accidentally grab the old filter, uh, thinking that it's going to protect you. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.